Okay, we are in the Saltillo house. And this house is actually over 100 years old. It has been abandoned. Um, and we are here to see if we can um, speak to anyone or see anyone. So let's start by going down this way. Yeah, this is the living room area right here. And that's where everything is caving in. Not on this side, just on the front side. Hmm. This is the kitchen. Wow, I'm getting a really heavy feeling right here that somebody's watching me. Getting a reading on a, uh, it went away as soon as you walked back in. Okay, right on the other side of that wall is that couch. And it I was think right that's here. Probably where he died. Okay. Rachel, you got the recorder it wasn't on? Your phone. What does this mean? Is this on the box? Where yes. Look. Okay, um. Wow, we're getting some major EMF readings in here. Um, right here in this hallway. Oh my gosh, all the way up to red. And there's no electricity in this there's house. There's no electricity in this house at all. Um, wow. Is today the 17th? Yes. Yes. This is insane. This is crazy. I'm going to take this off of night vision for a minute so we can see what this box is doing. Hey, can you tell me what this is the word that was spoken? Paragraph. I guess it was. That's the word that was spoken. How come I can't hear it? Okay. Heather, move the temperature gauge away from that. Well, it's not. Oh, it's not the temperature no. gauge. Okay, yeah, it's still going. And it's not the phone either because I put it right up next to the phone and I got absolutely nothing okay. a minute so ago. Okay, so we're getting some allow. major... Allow. 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 Are you saying that you allow us to be here? So getting you all kinds of okay. Wow. Is there any spirits here that would like to speak with us? But see, a minute ago, I wouldn't get anything over the phone. I think it's the phone. Move the phone. Not like that. Mm, no. No, it's not the phone. It's not the phone. That's so weird. Yeah. See, because now I'm getting nothing off the phone. We know this is your home. Is it okay that we're here? We'd just like to speak with you. Without. Um, would this be Without. Terry that we're speaking with? Is there Terry here? Is Terry here? I'm telling you right now, we need to go in that living room. See, guys, on that side, we don't want to go over there. That's where the ceiling's falling in, but we okay. should be able Italian. to stay. Italian. Carrie, are you Italian? This is where I'm standing. See, I'm feeling the same thing. I feel really weird right here, y'all. Really weird. This is, like, freaking me out. This is the old kitchen. Um, still has all of the old stuff in it. Carrie, are you here? Let me see where you at. Well, I'm not right this second. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Does someone want to do the rods? I've got them. Tell. Tell. So, is there anything you want to tell us? It's a tell. Mm hmm. What would you like to tell us, Terry? Is this Terry? Impossible. It's impossible. You, you can speak with us. We have a way of communicating with you where we can understand you. Would you like us to get the spirit rods out so you can communicate?
Okay. Um, Can you scoot over, please? We would like to communicate with any spirits that are here. I'm Dawn. Um, Heather has the camera. Rachel has a audio recorder. Hang on real quick. Dear Lord, please keep us safe while we do this. Please surround us with your white light, and uh, please keep anything bad away from us, and just protect us while we're here. Thank you, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Thank you, we forgot that. Yes. Okay, um, so Terry, what we'd like to do is, if you're able to communicate with us, and if you're willing, um, we realize that we're in your house, and we don't want to impose on you, um, but we would like to communicate with you. And so what we'd like to do is, um, if you have a yes answer for us, cross these rods together like this, okay? And if it's a no answer, we want you to pull them apart like this, okay? So, um, is there anyone here that would like to communicate with us? Oh, that's great. Okay, thank you. Can you pull the rods out straight for me? Okay, is this Terry that we're speaking with? Look at your hand That's, it's going off, yeah. Okay, thank you, Terry. Can you pull the rod straight for me? Thank you so much. Um, do you mind that we're here speaking with you today? No? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Can you pull the rods back straight for me? Thank you. You know, if you would like to speak with us, you can speak into this box and this phone that Rachel has over here. These are some really cool tools that will let us know what you're saying. Um, if you don't feel like you can do that, that's okay. We can just talk to you with the rods. Are there any other spirits here in the house with you? He says yes. Thank you. Can you pull the rod straight in for me? Terry, can you tell me if that was you that made that noise just a minute ago? Yes. Okay, thank you. She's pulling the rod straight for me. Mm -hmm. Awesome job. Terry, can you make that noise for us again? Can you knock or tap on something for us? Did one of y'all just say, are you here? Oh, I said, can you hear that? Oh. I hear something. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, Terry, would you... <coughs> what did it say? Third. Okay. Terry, would you be able to point these rods to where you are in the room? The chair. The chair. Oh, okay. Terry, are you in the chair? Okay, Terry, um, we're wondering how many other spirits are here with you. Is it more than five? Mm. Yes. Mm hmm yeah. Okay, thank you. Is it more than 10? Leather. Yes. Leather. Okay, is it more than 15? Situation. Yes. Okay, um, is it more than 20? Okay, thank you. Is there a vortex on this property? Yes. Locate. Locate. Okay, can you point can you the point? rods to where the vortex is? Right 
there where I felt weird. I knew I felt something there. Okay, thank you, Terry. You pull the rods back straight for me. Do you know that would make sense if she said he wanted to come here to get? And then he sat and he... He knew. Yeah. Okay. Um, Terry, did your loved ones come for you when it was your time to cross over? Yes. Okay, thank you, Terry. Terry, where where are you? Where do you believe you are? Are you in heaven? Yes. yes. Thank you, Terry. Do you just come back to visit? Visit your wife? To visit your wife? Yes. Very strong, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Terry. I'm feeling very sad right now. Me too. I'm feeling extremely just overwhelmed, sad. Terry, are you sad? Yes. Okay, can you pull the rod straight for me, please? Would you like to tell us in this box why you're sad? could speak into this box. Are you sad to see your home in this condition? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Terry. Are you sad because you miss your family? Yes. Terry, I'm so sorry that you've gone through this, and I'm really feeling your sadness right now. We, we want you to know that it's okay to be sad and okay to miss your family. Um, I know your wife misses you. I can tell by the way she talks about you. So I think she's probably glad that you're here close by. Um, Terry, we want to thank you for speaking with us. If there is a uh, spirit here, we would like to communicate with you if that's okay. I'm Dawn, this is Rachel, this is Heather. Hang on. We are in the pink room. Thank you. And uh, we're actually looking to speak with the spirit of Billy. Um, is Billy here with us? Need to cross the rods together for yes and take them apart for no. Billy, are you here? Yes. Okay, can you pull the rods apart for me? Where's the EMF? Oh, okay. It's not doing anything right now. Okay. Billy, did you used to play with the little girl who lived here? Yes. Can you pull the rods apart for me? Thank you. Billy, did you pass away as a child? Yes. Okay, thank you. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? You can speak into either one of these boxes. Billy? Um, were you younger than 10 when you died?
Yes. Okay, thank you. Were you younger than five when you died? No. No. Okay, so were you seven when you died? No. Were you eight when you died? No. Were you six when you died? Okay, thank you. You can pull the rods out straight again. Ask him if he died before the 1950s. Did you die before 1950? No. Did you die in the 1950s? Did you die in the 1950s? Okay, in the 1960s? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Can you pull the rods apart for me again? Thank you. Hey, Billy, did you live in this house when you were alive? Yes. Then did he die in the house? Okay, can you pull the rods straight for me, please? Billy, did you die in the house? Okay, thank you. You can pull the rods back for me. Thank you so much. Okay, anybody want to ask anything else? Ask him how many if the spirits are here with him. Billy, are there a lot of spirits here with you? Yes, automatically. Yes. Okay, thank you. Pull the rods out straight for me, okay? Hey, Billy, is there more than ten spirits here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you pull the rods out straight for me? Okay. Is there more than twenty spirits here? Yes. Want some more checks? Ask him. Okay, can you open the rods back up for me, please? Pull them out straight. Thank you. Billy, is there a vortex where this house is? Yes. I'm going to point to it. Can you point to it with the rods where, where it is? That's the same spot. Okay, thank you, Billy. You can pull them back straight now. Okay, Billy, if there's anything you'd like to tell us, um, now's the time to do it before we go away, okay? Billy, we would love to know what your last name is, if you could speak it into this box. No response. Billy, what does 12 mean? Can you tell us what 12 means? Ask him if he was 12 when he died. No, he said he was 6. Okay, were you 12 when you died? No. No. I'm just wondering, maybe he messed up the first time. Okay, you thank you, Billy. On the 12th? Did you die on the 12th of the month? No. Did you die in December? No. 
Ooh, good guess, Rachel. He says yes. We watch a lot of Long Island Medium. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Billy. All right, is there anything else you'd like to tell us before we go? Okay, thank you for speaking with us, Billy. We appreciate it. Okay. There goes. Oh, my Blinky. God. There goes. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, something's definitely in here. Wow. Okay. okay. Wow. See, the, the cool thing is, is there's no electricity in this house. So it can't be giving, like, so it can't it be giving false signals. be giving like false signals, like yeah. Batteries don't do that. It's I was going to say, the cell phone doesn't... No. Uh, it wouldn't affect it? Uh-uh. We've, like... Oh, crap. Uh, Sorry, y'all. Yeah, they're, like, all on. One. I know. Why do you need that one? Because it gives more light. Okay. And I'm filming. I hate having to be, like, so still. Okay. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit so I can get you <laughs> and... Can you up there for a second? Oh, I was like, who's going to spider? Ghost, yes, spiders, no. You're blinding me, though. Oh, I'm blinding sorry. you? Okay. Let me okay. Pick, I'm back up a little bit more. I just want to look at where I'm stepping. What is that over there? Hmm. Okay, I'm still here already. Those are staying light, like, faintly lit. Like, yeah. Cool, I think. Ready? Yes, yeah. I'm ready. It's the voice, who's got the voice recorder? It's sitting next to you on that table. Okay, good. Okay. All right, if there are any spirits here that would like to speak with us, we would love to speak with you. You could cross these rods together for yes, pull them apart for no. Is there anyone here that would like to speak with us? Lots are going off again. Mm -hmm. That's a yes. Okay, can you put the rods back straight for me, please? Thank you. Are you a male spirit? Are you male? What? No. That's a no. Yeah, the can lots you put the rods back here. straight, please? Is that passing by it? Okay. Can you Heather, watch your elbow. Where's the basket? Our temperature gauge is in there. Can you point these rods to where you're standing, please? Point these rods to where you are right now. Right there. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. See, it's my back. Are you okay? It's not scary to hear snow. Okay. It's okay. It's very cool. And I felt it when I was standing over there, too. That's really neat. Put the lights back to the front, please. Yeah, it's a lot colder over there. Do you have the light on her? My dad? Or, like, you know? Yeah. Did you live in this house? No. So this is a woman spirit. She says she just did not live in this house. Ask her if she came through the vortex. Did you put the rods back to the front, please? <coughs> please put them back to the front. Did you come through a vortex in this house? Yes. Put the rods back to the front, please. Ask her to point to it. <coughs> you point to where the vortex is? Oh, it's that same spot they pointed yesterday. 
Thank you. Put the rod back to the front, please. To the front, please. <coughs> Are there other spirits here with you? <clears throat> yes. Point the rods back to the front, please. Community. Uh, it's not someone that lived in the house. She already asked them. It's someone from the community. And she was like standing behind me. There's a lot again. What else do you want me to ask? Um, ask if we can speak to the spirit we spoke to yesterday. Can we speak with this? Can we speak with the spirit we spoke to yesterday? <coughs> the spirit we spoke to yesterday here. Is is Terry here now? Yes. Put, put the rods back to the front, please. Is this Terry? Terry, are you here? I can't hear for shit. <laughs> Thank you. Can you put the rods back to the front, please? Heather, can you move about two inches to the right? Okay. <laughs> Terry, if you're here, can you point the rods to your daughter? <laughs> no fucking way. Aaron, I felt coldness and that the thing said it was behind me. Thank you. Look at the lights. Yeah, the lights are all the way on red. Freaking crazy. Uh huh. Can you point the rods to the front, please? Okay, I want to try something. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I want you to ask a couple questions. And what I want you to do is ask a couple questions, <coughs> yes or no, like, was this your favorite song? Was your hair this color? But don't say anything now, but ask a couple questions about... Um, ask a couple trick questions. Yeah, ask trick questions. Like, um, throw a couple trick questions in there. Yeah. Because then you'll like know if that's truly really him or not. Like, it's Mother's Day is this day. Make sure yeah. yeah. Like yeah. yes or no questions, so but you know. very specific. So yeah. So, so you'll know if it's him. Well, that kind of helps yeah. us figure out because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> things that he'll know. My like dad doesn't know my birthday. Um, <laughs> maybe his eye color, what room he died in. Uh, <laughs> ask him stuff like that. Hey, that Terry, way. your daughter would like to ask you some questions. <laughs> Is my birthday in June? They know we caught them. You see, that's the thing, because yesterday, when we were supposedly talking to Terry, mm -hmm. we got, like, instant answers. Yeah, it was, like, it was yes. very quick, and it was yeah, very this strong. this says no. And this see how the rods is... go out? Mm-hmm. That's a no. <laughs> Can you put the rods back to the front, please? Please put them back to the front. Come on. Can we try to find out how many spirits are here, Rachel? Maybe they'll tell us that. Why ask me? Oh. <laughs> right? 
Apparently that was a yes. Years. Okay. Can you tell us, um, are there more than ten spirits here? <coughs> the more than ten spirits here with you? Check. But the rods say no. Hmm. Well, there could be different number of spirits here at any time with a with a vortex here. What is this? <coughs> that is the box, um, and then you pick up on voices. Or it picks up on words. Um, but it works off of white noise. It works off of white noise, and if it can make out any type of word, it will use that. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes it just throws out super random stuff, and sometimes it'll throw out stuff that <coughs> is actually relevant, but you never really know. We were. Yeah, I can. I can. What are you doing? Because I talked to Terry yesterday. How do the rods work? The you rods work like I'll show you okay. if you want to hold them. These rods are inside these little. Swings. Are they magnetic or? Basically, they're dousing rods, and in the olden days, people used to use them to find water. Yeah, it's, really it's hard. hard. You have to be like. You have to be still. still. You can't move at all. It's and a lot of people will say, oh, they're just making it go the way they want it to, but it's really hard to make it I go mean, where you want it to. Like, if you tried to get them across together, like, try to get well, them. I don't think there's, yeah, I mean, if I tried to control them. like that, they would most yeah. definitely feel yeah. like um, Yeah. But apparently, um, it's something with spirits, they can make them move a lot easier than make anything else move. Like, when you hear people say, you know, ghost stories about things that like, make things move off the wall, that might okay. be true, but it's very I'm rare. Yeah, my dad may, may not be okay. in here with all these damn spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm terrified of spiders. So I'm like, I'm looking sure. everywhere I'm, like, oh, I'm very interested. Those have stayed lit up the whole time. We've never gotten this much EMF anywhere. Like a Other than this spot. is the, the best EMF readings that we've gotten ever. Yeah. Well, we grew up here and we never felt uneasy or scared of anything. And most uh -huh. people don't. Uh -huh. They're used to what's there. Like, I think we, she recalls one time somebody covering her up yeah, in her sleep. About the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they're not, whatever was but there wasn't. Yeah. No, I mean, nothing scared. was ever scary here. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I, I was always scared of the dark and didn't like keeping myself anyway, but, you know. I, uh, <laughs> I'd never felt unsafe here. We could live here our entire life. That's how we were. We lived in a house that my daughter would talk to in the corner. <laughs> but I never felt weird. Like, I always felt like, you know, well, my son's done watching watching strange over things here and there at my mother in law's house. Well. Yeah. I feel a cool breeze that I'm going through that window. <laughs> I've been <laughs> feeling one behind me. Um, the temperature it's gauge is in that basket. I don't know what that is. I tried it. It's just, it's so hot in here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, yes. Um, I would like to speak to Terry. Terry, do you remember talking to us yesterday? Say yes. Okay, thank you, Terry. Can you pull the rod straight again for me? Today. Asking, did, did the Cowboys do a good job today? Did the Cowboys do a good job today? He's not going to like uneasy. He doesn't know. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't get the game where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> if they got it, he's watching it. They might um, not have TVs in heaven. I don't know. Yeah, right. I assume they have to. Like, if they don't got Cowboys, <laughs> he ain't going. Okay. Um... Ask him to point to his favorite spot. Can you point to your favorite spot in this room? Can you tell us where you like to be in here? <laughs> Keep going. What about one? <laughs> yep, right there behind me. I'm going to try to... I'm hoping those lights will go. He's pointing right to that chair. That's crazy. <laughs> area. Yeah. Well, this one. Well, that one won't go, go past her hand. My so hands in the way. <coughs> okay. Thank you, Terry. Can you pull the rod out straight for me, please? All the way to the front. See, 
that's what's so crazy about these rods is they don't just flip around, they just kind of float. <laughs> Freaks me out too every time I do it. Thank you, Terry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going, no. Ask him, is there anyone in this room specifically he'd like to speak with? Is there anyone in this room you would like to speak with right now? Can you point the rods? Can you point the rods towards him? Both? Both rods. <laughs> no. Can you point both, both the rods? Pop stop. Guys, I'm shooting for you. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> ready. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> okay. Moved over a little bit. Thank you. Can you pull the rods forward for me? Okay, do you want to ask him something? <laughs> do you want to try do you want to try to use the rods when you were kid? Do you want to hold the rods and try to do it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, pull the rods apart. I'm so glad you were able to tell your daughters that. I know they know that you miss them, but it's always nice to hear. Are all the grandchildren over three? So, um, Terry, do you have three grandchildren? Well, but he has more of it. He, he has, has three. three. He has more than three. Maybe okay. that's why it took a minute for him to answer. Ask him if he has, if he has more five. than six or something. And down the Okay. Um, <laughs> just say it. Terry, do you have eight grandchildren? Ask him something that only he would know, like, or... Like a yes or no question. Like, do I ask it, or do you ask it, or do I ask Look, that lets you can all it. the way on right. Um, did you used to call me Shorty when I was a kid? Yes. Did he tell you that? Oh, uh -huh. it lit up, it lit up. In it did, it lit up big time. Okay, thank you, Terry. Can you pull the rod straight, please? There's a lot of something uh, right here. Okay. Now it's gone. See what it does is if the spirit will see somebody passed right by it. Because when they pass by it, it starts blinking. And most of the time it's really quick. It goes up and it goes down, it goes up. But this is staying. If it stays steady. like that, it means something or somebody's something there. Is, oh, can you do it? Give it a second, because every now and then it's like really and then it'll just faint and then it'll He's trying. Well it looks really dim now. Yeah. Is it blinking? Super. Yeah. It's blinking, yeah. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, it's the other one. I want to get two. I see another one going to fall. Are you filming? No, because the light shines. The light, you can't see it. Like, this one's staying up a little bit. You can't see that well, on the camera? These two aren't really blinking. They see, if you put it on night vision, you can't see those really either. You can't tell if they're light or not. No, okay. don't turn the light on. See if she can just film it in the dark and see if we can see the light. Like those two? 
that one's the strongest one. That one behind you keeps going off and on. You can't really see them on the tape. This one I can see on the tape. Oh, you can't. It's staying on. The one by the window? That one. Yeah. Yeah. That one I cannot see. They're all in the light nut from there. That one is blinking. Yeah, but it's it's faint. It's like faint. Yeah. Okay. If they blink, that means something's near it. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if they, they have like little copper rods that stick up, like little antennas. Yeah. And that's what will make it light up. Is if there's energy around that little antenna. Okay, Heather, I need that to film with, so can I trade you just this for that? Well, just and y'all can follow me. Let me go first. Yeah, I didn't want to be in the front anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to be in the front. The temperature gauge away from that. Well, it's not. Oh, it's not the temperature no. gauge. Okay, yeah, it's still going. And it's not the phone either because I put it right up next to the phone and I got absolutely nothing okay, a minute so ago. Okay, we're getting some allow. major... Allow. 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 Are you saying that you allow us to be here? Is it okay that we're here to visit? GPS signal lost. Well, thank you. Why is your <laughs> GPS still on? I don't know. Where are you going to do the rods at? Um, put the temperature thing in your pocket. This? Why don't you take a temperature reading in here so we know? It's freaking hot. That's what the temperature yeah, is in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to move. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't, don't get under the spider. I don't want to 